gon' chew me, cut the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. We're moving on to our next pop culture topic, the state of female rap. So we've had a lot, a lot of female rap projects. Nike. <laughs> we've had a we had a, a good amount of female rap projects dropping 2024. But with all of the hype on social media surrounding some of these artists and these albums, the numbers aren't matching up. So I just want to have a conversation. Have we felt about these past projects of 2024? And if we want to go towards like the end of 2023 with Scarlet, with Doja Cat and Nikki's uh, Pink Friday 2. And along with how we feel about those albums, how do we feel about the state of female rap as a whole? I, I'm going to say one thing. I went back and heard that Ultima song by Doji and she snapped on that. Dolce is nice. Dolce is like, nice. I was like, wait, is this what is this what Foop Galvin and Antoine were talking about at a lot? Yeah. Like, she's mm-hmm. not that. Nice. I, I go to the yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, Dolce is nice. But just to put it into perspective, this is from maybe a week or maybe it was like two weeks ago, but somebody had put on Twitter the the numbers for the female rap albums. So, Cola Ray's album that came out, that was 2023 when her album came out, right? Yeah, I think so. 2022, 2023. I could Probably look it up. Like, 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 Lotto, Sugar Honey Ice Tea, 29K. Glorilla, Everything, Everything, 33K. Megan, 64K. Scarlet, 72K. And then Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday 2, 228K. And then have they don't have, do they have the numbers out for Doshi yet? I don't think so. She, she dropped two recently, yeah. When she released I, Friday. Be, before, before I drop, so what are the numbers looking things. like for? Before I drop, what are the numbers looking like for the men in their class? Because, like, that if we're going to say female rap ain't doing good, I want to compare it to the guys who are at that same level of but you notoriety. Know, but you know, the standards, the standards are different for men and women. Like, Fair. I don't know why it's such a big thing. Like, now, like, the big thing driving force in female rap is the numbers now. Like, fans not even paying attention to what the hell they favorite artists are saying. If they got, if they make them numbers, that's it. Like, they ain't got nothing to say. And I'll be like, what the hell? Y'all gonna but I, what the girl got to say? But I also feel like I also feel like it goes into the the question of like, do numbers matter? Because we talk about like Dochi, Flo Millie's album. Even even though I didn't, you know, I wasn't a big fan of Flo Millie's album. I think Flo Millie did like what fifteen? You told me it was like fifteen k. Yeah, it was like twenty or below for Flo Millie. I I think it matters to. I would say to the fans, to some of the fans, like me, it don't matter. The numbers really didn't matter to me because I listen to everybody's shit. If you got a good song on your album, it got saved to mm-hmm. my playlist. Whether it was mm-hmm. a slow playlist or my gym playlist or just my regular, you know, flight playlist. But to the, like, the industry, as like the whole female industry and the marketing, you know, trying to get your females out there, make your money, and get your revenue back, I feel like it matters to them. And that's why, you know, a lot of fans say mm-hmm. they feel like that it matters the most because if your babe not doing the numbers now get they now get that pushed by their label because why we put money into you and you on the 720k your first week but you out here running your mouth at Nick Minaj talking about she your rival but she do 228k for a speed it's like not happening up so some people get scared so some questions so some questions I have is my first question because you brought up Nikki my first question for you is do you feel like because Nikki has been in the game for so long that she kind of has an advantage or like a one up on the others. Why she was, and that's why she was able to do 228K. Or do you feel like, because I know you listen to all of these projects, or do you feel like that some of these girls could have did those numbers? I feel like, I want to say, Nikki ain't did less than 100k on none of her albums. Her lowest album sale was Queen was 
86, I think, one something like that, 168 or 186. I might got the numbers confused. And that was a block. That was when everybody was talking about, oh, you block, you over with. She debuted at number two. Her first album, Pink Friday, did like three over 350K. Like, so I, I can't give it to that. I can't just say because she had enough time. Because she's been pulling them numbers even before. All right. Was okay. Out. I feel to, like. To rephrase my question. Do you feel like maybe, do you feel like because she was the most popular mm -hmm. female rap artist during her time that all of the, I guess, everybody who was checking for female rap, she got that mm -hmm. influx. Yeah. And now that we yeah, have somebody, Sexy Red, Glorilla, mm -hmm. Meg, Lotto, it's it's split. Yeah, somebody, I was looking at a video, I forgot who said it on TikTok, but somebody brought that up on TikTok, and I was like, that is a good point, because there is a lot to choose from now. And that's a good point, but then I also hate that because that's a double edge. So at the same time, we don't have to choose. We can listen to everybody. Like we can uplift everybody. Everybody can pull those numbers for real. Like I feel like what's up with Megan pulling the two hundred and twenty some k? Like I can see Megan doing that, but why? Like why is she? Like that's the question that everybody's like, wondering. Yeah, I feel like it, it might be like a, a rivalry thing. Like, and I'm gonna quote Meg when she said, "On um, Otaku Hot Girl," she was like, uh, "What did she say?" They not pro you, they anti me. Yeah. So it's mm. like, so because um, if you mm. think of like how social media hypes up, like everybody was hyping up Meg's album, like his went went like number one on Apple mm -hmm. Music when it dropped. Like people were constantly streaming it. And then when it got to Megan, it kind of like it was there for a week. Everybody, you know, hop, you know, picked their songs. And now to this day, we gotta hear Mamushi all day. Yeah. And the album did 64K. So it's like we did all this boosting. And and, and to your point, Galvin, with all that boosting, why didn't Meg hit over like 100 k Right. Yeah, that's yeah. And, then, and, then, and, then, and then to counterpoint that, all the shit that we throw at Doja, all the mm -hmm. times that people was like, stop uh, streaming Doja, stop fucking with Doja, Doja did 72K. Yeah. She dropped Scarlet and did 72K. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like Megan's album should have did better as far as numbers. I do you was think it was say, good enough to do better? I was going to say, I'm going to say yes to answer your question. So yes, I think it was good enough. And I was just going to say, I thought Megan was going to do at least 100K. I, Me too. I was like, Megan got 100K easily. I think it Megan got that easily. Like, what? I would but say... When the came back, I was like, I'm like what's, what's the disconnect? I'm, that's what, I guess that's what everybody's trying to figure out. What's mid-thing? What's mid-thing? Because I feel like Meg, out of all of these albums, Nikki had a rollout, a nice rollout. But out of if we take Nikki out of the equation, mm -hmm. all of all of these albums, I feel like Meg had the best rollout when she dropped his Cobra. Mm -hmm. If we want to count Cobra, that was that was okay. But when she dropped his and then she doubled back with Boa, then the video for Boa was nice. Mm -hmm. And there were her whole thing being like the snakes and stuff when she had all them eggs posted up around mm -hmm. Atlanta and stuff like that. I thought the way that it was going, it seemed like, like oh, this was going to do numbers. It was a nice build up. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. And I actually, and I will say, Meg just had a really nice roll. Meg had all the elements of a perfect roll. Think about she had the the back and she had the marketing and she had the scandal, she had the beef. Like you had all of that to roll a pretty back on that. And I guess it might have been the, and they didn't might have tried to fall back on like the concept of the app. I might feel like it was worth hundred K. Somebody might feel like it ain't even worth the sixty four K that they got. Or sixty mm -hmm. how many got? Sixty four. Yeah. So I, and I just can't say these ladies are making bad music because they not, but I guess I don't I don't I think they're making bad lot. music. I, I think it's the rivalry too. Yeah, I think it's I think, what yeah. I think it's the rivalry, and I think it's also what you said is that there's so many, mm -hmm. and it will. And, and if we want to put them on like a spectrum, it's like you listen to different artists for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think not only the rivalry, but also the Tory Lane stuff. I think when it comes to the females, it's when females females to listen to her album, it's the rivalry. They're gonna listen to Nicki Minaj first, and for males, it's gonna be the Tory Lane stuff, as I've seen at least on like social media and stuff. They they not messing with it. Yeah, I can agree with that. They, they want to give my girls a chance. And the ones that do give her a chance, they over sexually, they miss the point because they focus on what she talked about sexually, which they really, I really, I love that for her. And I hate it at the same time, it's a double edged sword because some people just don't mm -hmm. get into my cooter, 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 cooter through your app. Some people just don't get it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, because some, you know, the girls that get it, but some right. it might go over some 
people here. So I don't. I just. I, I would. I don't know. I I kind of I the way that if if we focus on the numbers, mm-hmm. I would be curious to see on like as these artists as these women progress in hip hop like how they how their numbers continue to grow how they continue progressing. But if we look at the projects as a whole, like the only, the only album that I'm putting in the trash. Like real bad is Ice Spice, and the thing thing that gets me, and the thing that gets me is that all the marketing that Ice Spice has, Ice Spice was doing Dunkin' Donut commercials, Sprite commercials, like commercially, Mm -hmm. Ice Spice was in there, and for your album Mm -hmm. to do 28k, and Jay, and and to compare that with JT who did 27, JT barely had any marketing for City Center. JT was on her social media and at them backyard barbecue was a slow really said. So for and JT to it, have uh, li- literally no marketing and for you to be in Sprite commercials, Dunkin' Donuts, you doing Dunkin' Donuts commercials with Ben Affleck and mm-hmm. yo, and for y'all album sales to be basically equal, now that is telling as far as just, the you know, music. I got a question. So what y'all think, because it's the lingering question also on social media, like what do y'all think that's going to happen to the state if people hit that hip hop if Nicki Minaj do decide to drop like one more album in the next few years and just go and sit down and let the girls have it, I'm, I I'm, let's let's go backwards. This gag this gag city deluxe is going to make me nervous when them them numbers drop for that gag city deluxe. That's gonna make me. That's gonna. That's gonna uh, I, see gonna I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. She gonna like, eat, and that's gonna get her. And that's and one thing, and that's what makes me mad about you, bitch. Because I want one of y'all to step. As much as I love Nicki Minaj, I want one of y'all to put y'all foot on her neck because she'll yeah, stop talking nice. so much on social media. Because the reason she run her mouth because she can. Them numbers came with all oh, y'all numbers rolled out in front of her sister. Laid them numbers out in front of her. <laughs> she had a knife laugh chewing on that ice. I know she laughed for <laughs> Not chewing on that ice. And y'all on Twitter started tweeting check memes on y'all ass. Like, y'all, come on. Like, y'all allowing her I... to do this to y'all. Y'all can't be mad at nobody with y'all self at this point. But to answer She went your... first. And the, the thing, she went first. They let y'all go. She said, okay, I'll give y'all the cookbook. Now do what y'all gonna do. And what, what y'all do? I, I would say I would say the only girls. exception I would say the only exception to that is Doja because Doja yeah, dropped Doja Scarlet did first. Her yeah, Doja. Yeah, Doja did her baby. And, and be honestly, when I think when I say the new rap girl, it's honestly, my mind don't even go to Doja honestly because Doja is just yeah. so. Her. She does I, rap, I would agree. Though, I would agree because Doja yeah, a lot of not, a lot of times you can put Doja in her own lane. Yeah, a so lot I would say of times that she's not a rapper. It's just that she's so musically talented above. I, I hate to say above all the rest of her kind of her new kind of course. She's so musically above all of them. Like I just make makes good music. Don't get me wrong, I love making music, but when it comes to like production, making music, Doja Doja said on live Doja. with music a beach. I knew Doja was live. I knew Doja was something serious when she came out with Say So, which is through and through a pop song and flipped that bitch around and made it rock. Yeah. I knew Doja was oh, yeah. some serious. She was, yeah. I, yeah, so she's different. Like when I think of new female girls, even though she is one of the new girls, my mind don't go to her automatically. But I, I don't know. She's just different to me musically. But to answer your question, I feel like everybody. I feel like it's just everybody gonna have to pick. I feel like it's mm-hmm. gonna be everybody gonna have to pick. They, you know. This my my theme, or this is my group of rap girls, and I'm sticking with. It. I'm not listening to nobody else. Like we, it's mm-hmm. gonna be split. It's yeah. gonna be split. They're gonna and, rap the Nicki and some, and somebody gonna and they gonna try to push. They are gonna pick one of them. and They are gonna try to push them up to push, be the next yeah. new notch. Yeah, they're gonna mm-hmm. pick one and push the front. But I feel, but but though. do you feel like? But do you feel like because the the fandom that I'm curious about to see who they pick is the bars? Because I feel like whoever they pick. And who they push, whoever they might that's, go to, everybody else will have to. And that's and that's yeah, and that's crazy because Nikki hasn't like officially like gave the barbs okay to push a girl because we're, like, we're, <laughs> we're not going to Ice Spice. Yeah, but she the princess. But right. I think, but if I to be honest, out of, out of all the girls, I think the barbs 
going to probably push Doja. I think they'll fall behind Doja because Doja is so much like Nicki in the way that they are with their music. It'll be mm-hmm. so familiar to some of them. So they're going to linger to Doja anyway because it's going to feel familiar. Doja need- feel uh, like I feel like going to be in Gag City. I feel that. I feel that. But I mean, like, that but I, more, I, like, I, the versatility in Doja's music. Like, when Doja drops, like, it's like, ooh, what this bitch going to do now? The same with Nicki. Like, when some of the other girls drop, it don't be like that. It's like, oh, what she got to say now, girl? But it's mm-hmm. like, what? Like, but when Doja finna come, it's like, ooh, okay. You rubbing your hands. Like, you she finna be slow. She finna do pop. Yeah, she finna like, rap. So, yeah. And it's, yeah, that's the same with Nicki. So I think that familiarity is what some of the bars might linger to. Like, you know, uh, they not, I already know they're not going to push behind Meg, and I hate that. And I would want my yeah. far brothers and sisters to fall behind Meg, but they're not going to do that. Well, the looking at everybody else, words, it's not everybody for, the talent not for they need more development in far as the talent. They talented, but they got to develop it more before they. I feel like they can get that push because once you out there, you out there, girl, mm-hmm. and I'm come playing with them up and buy with these boot ass albums. And that's gonna piss me off. I, I would be interested to see who they push after Nikki. I would be curious to see who they like. But I would, I, 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 I want to be mad. The music industry would shift as like a whole, like what would because now the main focus is female, like female, female, even like female pop stars. Like what, like how would the industry shift if female rap like just kind of like it's one of that? Nikki left. We had a few good girls. She did her run. Meg do her little one too, and the rest of the girls is down now, and we might get a female rapper here and there the next yeah. 10 years or so. I don't know. I don't know. And that's what I, I, I that, that's... And the thing, the reason why I say I don't know is because if we go back to like when Nikki had first came out, like there were female rappers, but mm-hmm. she was the one. Yeah. Like some people yeah. came in with their little one two and they dipped out. Dej Love did her one two, dipped out. Young Ma came in, did her one two, dipped out. Um Iggy Azalea came in, did her mm-hmm. one two, dipped out. Yeah. I I would say until that moment comes, I would want these um, female rapper. I would want the rap girls, the new rap girls, to keep pursuing their crowd. Yeah, yeah. I would say that. Yeah. And <laughs> stop trying to be the next Nicki Minaj. It's not going to be a, another one of them. Get y'all give us y'all have an opportunity to give make a new name for yourself. Give us. Are they that- are they trying to be the new Nicki Minaj in? Brand or just like popularity, and, yeah, and, and the popularity, and, and I understand that because she's a very popular woman. But it's a years Nicki been in this game twenty motherfucking years. Y'all gonna have to work. It's time to work. And I guess that was, and that what she be telling the girl. She be like, y'all ain't like me yet. Y'all ain't worked yet. And I feel her. Y'all been in the game six seven years, and y'all can't pull a hundred pack after six seven years. That's I, scary, girl. I I feel like. Being the next Nicki Minaj is a loaded statement, cause I, cause, it, yeah. cause I, in what aspect does that mean? But I, I understand, like in terms of popularity, I get it because we just said, like during her time, she was the one. Like if, it, and even if we look back at these numbers, it's yeah, <laughs> y'all wanna, like y'all wanna do them numbers. Like I get it, but at the same time, yeah, I but I, I, I agree. I as far as like brand. And things mm-hmm. like that. I feel like yeah. everybody should pursue what they want to do and keep pushing what you know what mm-hmm. they want to do. Like how Meg is pushing one, like the anime thing, like mm-hmm. and with her brand and uh, JT with the Cinderella thing, like going back to Atlanta and doing all the other stuff. So yeah, and I agree. I think they should do what they do, and, so, and some gonna stick. If people like it, it's gonna stick. Just be yourself, and it's gonna stick. And I feel like when y'all want to be the quote unquote next when that's when y'all lose y'all way. Y'all, y'all get blind. Y'all get blind about the numbers and the stands and the industry. Mm-hmm. Now you chasing this Nicki Minaj high, and you done lost yourself. And I hate to see that with the girls. Cause but I also going back to something that you said at the beginning of this conversation is that for us as listeners. We're saying, you know, keep pursuing your craft. Don't worry about the numbers. Doing your own lane. But something that you said at the beginning of this conversation was investors. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you, it like, what happens when I do my own thing and it mm-hmm. don't sell? Then it's, okay, hit a, the blueprint. Hit a pink print. Yeah. <laughs> now yeah. what? And I hate that. Yeah. And I just hate that for the girls because the label's going to do y'all. Like, the label's going to do it. They're going to do it because they all don't have another... 
ain't no but the pink right now. Y'all can say, okay, Miss Lee Kim, Foxy, you know, um, what's her name that JT pulling from? What's her name? Jackie O. Y'all can pull from that, but eventually, once you go doing it on that, it's going to weave some Nicki Minaj in that. They're going to slap that pink to say some of these elements that she did earlier in her career, I need y'all to do. And I, I don't mm -hmm. know. It's just, sometimes I mean, it a, I it get it from a... It might be inevitable from a, like, a business point of view. Like, because, I mean, if I was a label, yeah. and it's like, the only, like, if I know the shit Nicki Minaj doing is worth it, I'm going to tell my female, I mean, yeah, girl, you need to take some of these elements. Have you tried? We slide in a paper card. Have you tried Have doing you tried? this? <laughs> King, King, this is a pink wig, but have you tried it? <laughs> Turn it around. Turn the wig to it. <laughs> shake it. Shake it a little bit. Now, just, now do, your arm, do your arms like this. How you feel? <laughs> so I feel it from, like, an investor label. I feel it, like, we need our coin, man. We can't let these girls get there and play and frolic. Man. So I feel it. It's just with that's a big sword. Y'all think on uh, well, Nicki Minaj has variety in her music. Do y'all think the other girls just don't have enough variety? Or because yeah, some I, of them I, are I, good I, at rapping. Yeah, like though she's she's a good rapper, but mm -hmm. do you think her variety that, is there? I would mm -hmm. say the one yeah, that I've seen point. step out the most. Meg, I'm gonna say Megan Lotto because Megan Lotto do they they little pop tracks every mm -hmm. now and then, and then True. Meg turned around and did that rock remix to Cobra, and mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting her to do that. Mm. Yeah. So like maybe they should do that more because I will say when Nicki first hopped on the scene, she had a verse on everybody. She she was with Madonna and Britney Spears now. Yeah, she was, yeah. So she, she was everywhere. Yeah, so she was getting all so these different type of fans. Yeah. from different yeah. genres, real fast. I can't say I'm that. telling you, I'm telling you, David Meg. Maybe yeah. need to hop on some with Sabrina Carpenter. Somebody needs yeah. somebody need to go call Sabrina, Sabrina Carpenter. Carpenter she, Billie you know, Eilish. Billie Eilish. I, I would say Meg. girl that be crying. Somebody. Meg did her little um the Mean Girl song with Renee Rapp, but Renee Rapp they not pushing Renee Rapp. Like since yeah, that yeah. whole Mean Girl situation, like they ain't really been pushing Renee Renee Rapp. And and they, so they, the girls do it, like Meg do it, but like. Do it like push it out because one thing I need when she was pushing out them pop verses. If she wasn't giving you a full mm -hmm. pop song, she was on the song with David together. She was on the song with she was somewhere in there with um, she just did that one? song with Kim Petras alone. She was with Kim, Brittany, Madonna. She yeah. out there with Katie, like yeah. Lady Gaga. She's she she doing with songs girls. with Jason Derulo. She Jason when, Derulo. Yeah. when Nick Jonas had broke out and she did his band. She had yeah. to be up with Willow Smith tomorrow with my hair for the cheer. And like, she was everywhere. Y'all not everywhere. Well, she said, this shit is in different areas, y'all. <laughs> and what we love, but I don't know, we stopped being monogamous. It's not like that for some of the girls. Like, right, y'all. We got to move on to the next piece okay. of the show. Like, when Utopia dropped, I was like, this in no way compares to Astro World. And I, and the only song that really stuck out to me was the Drake feature. And even that wasn't just hitting. Like, I, now I like his him being Come featured on, on Don Tolliver's album. Like a yeah, like. I